how are you i hope you are doing well today in this video i'm going to explain the slope of a line how to find the slope of a line if coordinates of two points on a line are given and also if the angle between two lines are given how to determine the slope so today's topic is about the slope of a line listen carefully friends suppose this is the x axis this is the y axis now it is a coordinate plane suppose i shall draw a line l is a line i can draw any plane suppose i am drawing here it makes an angle with the positive direction of the x axis suppose this angle is equal to theta if this angle is theta ultimately this angle is 180 degree minus theta that means if i draw a line in a coordinate plane it makes two angles with the x axis the angle theta which is made with the positive direction of the x axis this angle what we can measure in anti clockwise is called inclination of the line here theta is the inclination of the line that means the angle made by the line with the positive direction of the x axis which is measured in anti clockwise that angle theta is the inclination of the line if this is theta ultimately this one will be 180 degree minus theta so there is no doubt that this theta will be less than or equal to 180 degree i can right it will be between 0 and 180 degree so this angle is the inclination of the line suppose this line is l this angle is theta so theta is the and inclination of this line now how to find the slope of a line how to find the slope of a line if so this is the line f which makes angle theta that means theta is said it is the inclination of this line suppose this line is parallel to x axis that means the inclination will be zero at the same time if this line is perpendicular to the x axis its inclination will be 90 degree so our aim is to find the slope of the line what is the slope of the line here slope of the line is nothing but the slope is equal to tan theta tangent of this acute angle theta i mentioned here tan theta for example if the line l is parallel to x axis theta will be zero ultimately the slope will be zero that means i can say slope of x axis slope of x axis is zero if this line is perpendicular to the x axis the theta or the inclination will be 90 degree that means tan theta will be tan 90 degree which is 
on the point. So I can say that the line, if I draw it vertically, its slope will be on the point because we know that earlier classes also slope of y axis is on the point. So if the angle of inclination or inclination of the line is zero, its slope will be zero. If the inclination of the line is 90 degree, then its slope will be on the point. Now let us move forward. Now how to determine the slope if coordinates of two points are given? What is the condition? Condition is that coordinates of two points on a line are given. If the coordinates of two points on a line are given, how to find the slope of a line? Now, children, listen carefully. <coughs> so, once again, here clearly you listen to the figure. Coordinates of what two points of a line are given? The x axis, this is y axis, this is the line I have drawn with the. <coughs> okay. Now, in this coordinate system, or you can say in this coordinate plane, A is the line which is cutting the x-axis and we have given two coordinate points. For example, the point P is given, its coordinate is x1, y1. The point Q is given, its coordinate is x2, y2. We have to find the slope of the line. Now, from this point Q, draw a perpendicular to the x-axis. Similarly, you can draw a perpendicular from the point P to this x-axis. Now, you draw this, suppose P A, which is perpendicular to this line. If you want, you can give its name, doesn't matter. See here. Okay. Now, we have to go to the slope. So, what is the slope? Slope is nothing but the tan theta. Tan theta is the slope of the line which is also called gradient. Tan theta which is called gradient or slope of the line. So in this figure, this angle is theta. This line is making angle theta with the x-axis. So ultimately this angle also will be theta because these two lines are parallel. This is the transversal. So the corresponding angles will be equal. Here is theta in the sense. Here is also theta. So I have to find the slope of the line. That means I have to find the slope of the angle theta. See here. So, generally, for slope purposes, we use the letter L. So, I can say that A equal to tan theta, which is equal to here, theta equal to how much? Theta is equal to A P Q. A P Q. So, I am going to find the tan theta. You know that tan theta is equal to perpendicular side divided by base. So I can write this is QM upon PM is equal to QM. Here to here is Y2, here to here is Y1. That means QM is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by 
Pm here to here that means x2 here to here it is x1 that means x2 minus x1 so we got slope of the line L when two coordinate points P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2 is given this is the slope formula if the two points on a given line are given okay now I have taken this angle is the acute angle it may be obtuse angle let us see suppose x-axis, this is the y-axis, now this is the line L. Now definitely this angle which is the I can say inclination of the line is theta which is obtuse angle. If this is theta ultimately this angle will be 180 degree minus theta. Here two points are given. The P is x1, y1. Q is x2, y2. We have to find the slope. Now, from this point I am drawing the perpendicular. Here also perpendicular. Here also I am drawing the perpendicular like the previous case. Clear? This angle is 180 degree minus theta. Ultimately, this angle will be 180 degree minus theta because these two lines, parallel lines, this is the transversal. So, corresponding angles are equal. So, in the triangle P M Q, that M P Q, M P Q is equal to 180 degree minus theta okay so if i have to find the slope of this line means slope of this angle or i can say that tan 180 degree minus theta which is equal to this qm upon mp qm upon mp is equal to qm i can write it is y2 minus y1 upon mp here to here so i can write here to here is the x1 here is the x2 that means x1 minus x2 or i can write this is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by minus x1 minus x2 so we know that tan 180 degree minus theta is equal to minus tan theta so implies that minus tan theta is equal to minus y2 minus y1 divided by x1 minus x2 implies that tan theta is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x1 minus x2 that means say previous case we got the slope tan theta is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x1 minus x2 here also we got the same thing that means the slope of the line if two coordinates are given is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x1 minus x2 whether the angle is the acute angle or obtuse angle it does not matter previous case I explained theta for the acute angle now I explain theta for the obtuse angle. Let us move forward. Now conditions to be parallel. Conditions for Two lines B parallel.
Now, this is the x-axis, this is y-axis. x-axis, this is the y-axis with the two lines L1 and L2. So, these two lines L1 L2, suppose this L1 making the angle alpha, L2 is making the angle beta. These are the inclination of the line L1 and line L2. Alpha is the inclination of the line L1. Whereas the beta is the inclination of the line L2. Here I have drawn it is parallel. So if it is parallel, this is the transversal. Ultimately the corresponding angles are equal. That means alpha is equal to beta. If alpha equal to beta, I can say that tan alpha is equal to tan beta. Tan alpha is the slope of this line L1. Let it be M1. Tan beta is the slope of this line L2. Let it be equal to M2. That means I can say that two lines are parallel if their slopes are equal. So we reach that the conclusion that two lines are parallel if their slopes are equal, that is M1 is equal to M2. Clear children? Now, conditions for two lines be perpendicular. Conditions for two lines be perpendicular. So, listen carefully. This is the x axis, this is y axis. <coughs> Suppose that this is the line L1. I am drawing another line L2. So, tell that these two lines making perpendicular angles with each other. Suppose this line like the previous case, it is making an angle with the positive direction of x axis. Let it be equal to alpha. The inclusion of this line L2 let it be equal to beta. So, these are making 90 degree angle here that intersecting this here. Now, this angle I shall take theta. If this angle I shall take theta, ultimately this angle also will be equal to theta. I know that this beta is equal to alpha plus theta because in this triangle beta is the exterior angle so in a triangle the exterior angle is equal to sum of the opposite interior angles so I can say that this beta is equal to alpha plus theta here theta equal to how much nothing but 90 degree. So, I can say that beta is equal to alpha plus 90 degree. Okay. So, <coughs> this theta, this theta, this one, this one, all four angles are each one 90 degree. So, this theta is equal to this theta, this is also equal to 90 degree. 
so i got that beta equal to alpha plus 90 degree if beta equal to alpha plus 90 degree then i can say that tan beta is equal to tan alpha plus 90 degree so children tan alpha plus 90 degree how much definitely this is minus cot alpha cot story in trigonometry so i can say this is equal to minus 1 divided by tan alpha okay so tan beta is the slope of the line l2 whereas the tan alpha is the slope of this line l1 so tan beta is slope of the line l2 i have taken m2 and this one i have taken m1 so i hope you understood here slope of one line is the negative reciprocal of a slope of a other line or you can say that m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 that means two lines are perpendicular if so i can say that two lines are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is minus 1 or you can say that their slope of one line is the negative reciprocal of slope of other line slope of one line is the negative reciprocal of other line so in this condition two lines will be perpendicular previous case i said that two lines will be parallel if m1 equal to m2 now i said that if the product of m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 then the two lines will be perpendicular so let us move forward how to find the slope if the angle between two lines are given just i explain if the two points coordinates of two points are given how to determine the slope now i am going to explain how to determine the slope if the angle between two lines are given angle between two lines are given angle between two lines are given how to determine the slope so like the previous this is the x axis this is the <coughs> y axis this is the line i can say so this is the line l1 you draw one more line let it be line l2 so definite they are making one angle this angle is equal to theta listen carefully suppose the line l2 its inclination is alpha 2 and the line l1 its inclination is alpha 1 so i have taken this angle theta so suppose this angle is a take phi now in this case i can say that this alpha 2 exterior angle is equal to sum of the opposite interior angles that means i can say that alpha 2 is equal to alpha 1 plus theta because this angle also theta because these two are vertically opposite angles so i can say that this theta is equal to alpha 2 minus alpha 1 then how to determine its slope that means i have to find the tan theta 
so implies that tan theta is equal to tan alpha 2 minus alpha 1 are you remember tan a minus b formula what is the formula for tan a minus b it is equal to tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a into tan b Okay, my have studied in trigonometry. Same formula I am going to apply here. So I can write this is tan alpha 2 minus tan alpha 1 divided by 1 plus tan alpha 1 into tan alpha 2. Okay, so tan alpha 1 in the sense this is the slope of the line L1, this is M1. Here slope of the line L2, this is equal to M2. So I can write this is M2 minus M1 divided by 1 plus M1 into M2. This is the slope I found tan theta. Theta is here definitely an acute angle. I got the slope is positive. Suppose if I consider this phi, what will happen here? Phi is equal to how much? Can you tell me? Now listen carefully. So I can say that phi is equal to 180 degree minus theta because this is a linear angle 180 degree. This is the theta. So definitely I can say that phi is equal to 180 degree minus theta. Or if I find that tan phi is equal to tan 180 degree minus theta which is equal to minus tan theta. So here, <coughs> here I got tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 into m2. Here I got this is minus m2 minus block m1 upon 1 plus m1 into m2. This is the slope of the angle phi which is equal to 180 degree minus theta. So here there we got the positive one. Here I got the negative one. That means I can say that if if the slope m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 into m2 that means if the slope is if if it is the slope that means slope is positive if slope is positive in this case you will find that this theta is acute angle where is the phi is obtuse angle. If the answer is negative, that means the slope is negative. Slope is negative in the sense this angle will be the acute angle, phi will be the acute angle and theta will be the obtuse angle. So, I can say that if the angle between two lines are given, then the slope will be equal to that we can say that tan theta will be equal to mod of m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 into m2 where 1 plus m1 into m2 must not be equal to 0. Clear? So, this is about to how to find the slope if two points of a line are given or if the angle between two lines are given. Now, we will solve a numerical problem. Just you see, what is that? Suppose, if the angle between two lines is pi by 4 and slope of one line is 1 by 2 then find 
द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फॉर्मेड बाय एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फॉर्मेड ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ वी कैन प्रूव दैट द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फॉर्मेड बाय थ्री पॉइंट्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मींस दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स आर कोलिनियर बट टुडे व्हाट इज स्टडीड अबाउट द स्लोप through that also we can prove that these three points are collinear if the slope of ab slope of ab is equal to slope of bc then we can prove that abc are collinear so friends i hope that you might have understood this explanation at the same time i would like to say that don't forget to like and dislike give your comment subscribe as much as possible you can send share with your friends as a result they can also get the benefit thanks